Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Novus News. I wanted to talk about a very important thing today called angiogenesis. So before I talk about that, I want to talk about, again, NovaWave and why it's so important to use when you have erectile dysfunction. What the NovaWave device does is it targets the root cause of the problem of ED, and that is the buildup of microplaque within your blood vessels. So when you use the NovaWave on the area, what it does is it breaks up that microplaque. It's kind of like a kitchen sink that uh, is blocked up. So what do you do? You pour some Drano down there, clear out the pipes. That's essentially what's happening with those blood vessels when you start to use the NovaWave. But the other thing, the magical part that it does, is it triggers a process called angiogenesis. Angio means blood vessel, genesis, we, as we know, means creation. So with the creation of new blood vessels in conjunction with clearing out the existing blood vessels means more blood flow. And that is a solution to the problem with ED. The way it works with uh, <clears throat> creating new blood vessels is this is a process, it's not some magical thing we're you know, doing for you that's never been done before. It actually happens all the time in your body and most people don't even think about it. Uh, when you actually work out your muscles at the gym, that's how muscles grow is through the process of angiogenesis. When you cut your finger with a kitchen knife, the way that that heals, let's say you got skin, you got a cut, now you have a gap, literally air between the, the gaps of skin. What happens is your brain will sig send a signal to both sides of that gap to grow new blood vessels across that gap. It becomes healthy tissue again. Another great example is uh, if a heart surgeon is going in to do a bypass surgery because you've got a blocked coronary artery. They open up the chest and what they see when they identify that area where there's a blockage is the body has attempted to grow new blood vessels around that blockage to get blood from point A to point B even though it's completely blocked. Angiogenesis. So when you deliberately use the NovaWave on an area that's lacking blood flow, again, clean out the existing blood vessels, create new blood vessels, it increases blood flow. Uh, the full process of angiogenesis takes 90 days to realize. And what that means is most patients are done with care a third of the way into the full angiogenesis process, which means they're gonna continue to improve after they've done treatment, which is wonderful for all these guys who are looking to get you know, better performance, better erections, everything in the bedroom that they had before, and then some. Um, when we create these new blood vessels, they are fragile. The body is a very use it or lose it system. You, know, you go to the gym, you work out, you get a bunch of big muscles, and then you stop going to the gym. We all know what happens. Muscles go away. The body's like, I don't need these muscles anymore. We're not using them. So when it comes to blood vessels, we're creating new blood vessels. We don't want your body to say, I don't need these blood vessels anymore. So the way that we encourage the body to make sure not only that it keeps the blood vessels, but they get the opportunity to grow into bigger, more contributing members of the team, is we bring, bring blood flow into these blood vessels deliberately. Um, we've all seen an oak tree growing next to a sidewalk where the roots get so big that it cracks the concrete. Pretty amazing thing. What you forget sometimes is that that giant oak tree started as a little seed. And for those of us who are old enough to know what it's like to grow a seed in the windowsill, put the seed in the water, what happens with the sunlight and everything is it starts to grow roots. Those roots, when they first come out, they're fragile. They look like this, little tiny hairs. And if you leave it in the sun too long, you forget to water it for a couple of days, they die. They're very fragile. So the blood vessels that we're growing, they're called microcapillaries. They're very, very tiny microscopic things. So the way that we help these microcapillaries in your body become big enough to break sidewalks is we fill them full of blood. The way we do that, obviously we encourage sex, masturbation, anything that's gonna create more blood flow in that area. But also we are gonna have all of our patients pump. We use a penis pump. Um, thank you, Austin Powers, for turning that into a sexual thing. It's not. It's a therapeutic thing that brings in blood flow. And we're going to have you pump a couple times a day to deliberately bring in blood to an area of your body where we're creating new blood vessels. Over time, what happens is they become bigger and you get better erections because you've increased the blood flow all around. For those of you who are a little more technically savvy, the way it works is when you apply the extracorporeal shockwave therapy, to the particular part of the body that we're doing, which is the penis and the surrounding tissue, it triggers a process of angiogenesis by creating these things called vascular endothelial growth factors, which are signaling proteins designed to tell the other cells in the body to grow new blood vessels, increase blood flow, problem solved. Thanks guys, appreciate your time. We'll see you next time on Novus News.